Everybody loves those super flashy attacks in the Tales series. The ones that are commonly used to style on your enemies as desperation attacks. Mystic Arts, also known as Blast Calibers, Fujonic Finalities, or Hyogis for you Japanese Tales veterans. Hey there! Welcome back to Shinky JRPGs, and today I'm ranking my top 10 favorite Mystic Arts. As per the usual, I don't really have a concrete ranking criteria for them. I guess I'll just go by flashiness, entertainment factor, and just all around coolness. I'm also limiting it to one Mystic Art per game, so we get a bit of a variation. Keep in mind, this is not a definitive list. These are just my top 10 list, so if I don't mention your favorite, don't feel bad. In fact, let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. One last warning before we get started. This video is bound to have a few spoilers in it, so be cautious. I'll try to avoid them, but take this as your one and only warning. Anyways, grab a drink, pull up a chair, and get ready to hear about the 10 best Mystic Arts in the Tales series. In my opinion. Prepare yourself! I'll give you everything I've got! And this! And some of these! Expiation! Number 10 on my list is Expiation. Hubert Oswell's level 3 Blast Caliber from Tales of Graces. I won't lie, I was very tempted to lean right into the meme of instant balls. It's been 14 years since Tales of Graces has been released, and I will never get sick of hearing that. Anyways, Tales of Graces released in December of 2009, and I still think it has some of the best Mystic Arts in the series. All of Hubert's are incredibly satisfying, but I love the swallow combo into rapid gunshots. It's just classy, and it fits Hubert's character very well. <laughs> Number 9 on my list is Indignation Judgment, used by Genus from Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia is probably most current Tales fans' first Tales game, and what a game it was. It introduced Mystic Arts to the West, despite not having very many of them. In fact, the initial release only had three Mystic Arts. Lloyd's Falcon Crest, Colette's Holy Judgment, and Genus' Indignation Judgment. However, the PS2 and subsequent releases gave every character Mystic Art, other than Sheena, but they turned her summons into Mystic Arts. I really like this one solely because normally Genus is a relatively timid boy, but here he comes across as incredibly aggressive while yelling out his line of, I'll show you your powerlessness. It just seems so out of character, but it brings across the same energy as, I'm sick of your shit. It's so badass, and I really love it. I stand in the full light of the heavens, command me, who opens the gates of hell. Come forth, divine lightning! This ends now! Indignation! And now for number 8. Indignation, used by Jade from Tales of the Abyss. Yeah, I know, another variation of Indignation, but let's be honest, if I really wanted to, I could have half this list just different variations of Indignation. I had to mention Jade's rendition of Indignation because it's probably one of the most iconic versions of the spell in the series. Just his quote for it hits super hard. It's super flashy and it fits him so well. 10 out of 10 would encapsulate enemies in a thunderstorm again. Now we have number 7 on the list, Summon Destiny, used by Merity in Tales of Eternia. Okay, this one is purely nostalgia. This summon literally summons the entire cast of playable characters of Tales of Destiny. Each character does a strong attack one after another, ending with Leon's demon attack doing insane damage. Unfortunately, this summon or mystic art can only be used once every 30 minutes of real time. If you are playing a Japanese dub though, the characters actually have voice acting from the original Tales of Destiny while they use their attacks. It was a great reference to Tales of Destiny, and it just makes me smile seeing a past party join you even if it's only for one attack. Explosion 
ブルーアース Number six is from a game that has yet to have any sort of localization in the West. Blue Earth and its extension chain, used by Eugene, Mao, and Hilda from Tales of Rebirth. Blue Earth and the extensions leading up to it have been in quite a few games at this point. It started in Tales of Eternia, got a version in Tales of Rebirth, and then again in Tales of Graces. My favorite version is the Tales of Rebirth version of it, though. It's so colorful and just leads to utter chaos. Tales of Rebirth probably has some of the flashiest in the entire series, but this one is iconic as far as the series goes. Seriously, I dare you to try and say that five times fast. Speaking of number five, we have. Okay, I am going to ruin the pronunciation of this name. Shinten Reku Zenku Senpu Messai Shinbatsu Kasatsu Geki. Used by Lani in Tales of Destiny 2. How'd I do? This did get a localized name of Tremorous Celestial Sundering Shredding Light of Cyclonic Butchery in Tales of Graces, as Malak has a version of this move as well. It sounds just as ridiculous. I like the Lani version of this because he has a failure version too, where instead of the final smash, he just simply punches them in the face for a single point of damage. It's great and comedic. Hopefully, the English fan translation of this comes out soon so everyone can enjoy it. It's one of my favorites in the series. I'll burn it all! Number four on my list is from the newest in the Tales series Blazing Pillar, used by Alfin from Tales of Arise. This is the only mystic art on my list used by the lead character of one of the games. This mystic art keeps with Alfin's fire theme and is flashy as heck. I love the flashy sword combo ending with a huge pillar of fire. Yes, a literal blazing pillar. Come on, Namco. It could have been a little bit more creative. Something as corny as like Blazing Pillar of Eradication or something to add a bit of flavor to it. Oh well. At least it's still an enjoyable Mystic Art. We're in the top three. Number three on my list belongs to Goon Near Twister. Used by Eleanor from Tales of Berseria. So, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the newer Tales titles. However, one thing I do enjoy is the newer Tales titles have the capability to have flashy mystic arts. Gungnir Twister is not a disappointment. I love this one. Basically, having Eleanor turn her spear into a helicopter, levitating enemies into the air, and then introducing them to a spear enema. It might not be fun for them, but it's flashy and that's really all that matters. <laughs> Number two. It's from a questionable Tales game, but this mystic art is flashy. Final Player, which I'm sure is a translation error. I'm like 99% sure it was meant to be Final Prayer. Anyways, it's used by Miklio from Tales of Zestiria. Now, as a game, I really did not care for Tales of Zestiria. It had too many problems that I did not agree with. However, the mystic arts in this game were so good. I like Final Prayer. It's another mystic art from a past Tales game. Originally used by Lani in Tales of Destiny 2, the Tales of Zestiria version of this art takes that art and turns the flashiness up to 11. And now it's time for the top spot on my list. The number one spot goes to Blast Heart, used by Raven in Tales of Vesperia. This was the main spoiler I talked about in my intro. Blast Heart is just so intense, and the fact that it has an actual tie into the story aspects of the game just makes it absolutely incredible. I love the emotion behind the screaming of Blast Heart! It adds to the effect of it, 
It may not be super flashy or the highest in damage, but it's probably my favorite in the whole series. It might be because I really liked Raven as a character, so that in itself is why it deserves my top spot. So that's my list of top 10 Mystic Arts in the series. Did I mention your favorite, or did I happen to miss it? There are so many to choose from, and I'm sure my list is nowhere near your favorite Mystic Arts. Which ones are your favorites? Please let me know which ones are and why. Thanks for popping in, and if you want to see more of these top 10 lists, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when my videos go live. That's the meat and potatoes, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.